I had the game Dread Thunder on my wishlist for a while. Ever since I got it recommended on Steam and saw the gameplay trailer. And then I found out that the desk gave me a Steam key. So I think why not check it out even though it's still in early access. By the way, this video is not sponsored, so everything I say is my unbiased opinion. You are playing as a mercenary in a mech suit, a gun for hire, who likes to kill monsters but refuses to harm humans. The background story is a bit vague and only told through dialogues in between missions. But from what I understand, dreads are a next generation weapon. That were human ones, they use a similar technology as our mech suit, but instead of having a pilot, they are made from a mutated biomass that got fused with technology. Since they are easy to replace and can be rapidly developed, it leads to an invasion from within the solar system and we are tasked to stop it. The dreads remind me of the Tyranids of Warhammer 40k. Just instead of aliens, human scientists create those monsters from biomass. Overall I think the story is definitely intriguing and it's really nice to see that the devs explain where your enemies come from. And I'm really glad that it's not just generic aliens that you kill just because. For now we can only play the first act, but you can repeat every story mission once you kill the final boss of act 1. Plus we also get a choice to start over on Heart and Nightmare. Each of which makes everything slightly tougher, but you also get more XP, money and access to a new item tier. The gameplay is like a fast paced twin stick shooter slash ARPG where you seamlessly transition between melee and ranged combat. The mechanics feel like a mix of Doom Eternal and Diablo. To gain ammo and health you can use your melee attack. The enemies even light up in a similar manner as in Doom Eternal once their health is low. The only thing that's missing is the brutal finishing moves. If they implemented that it would be really sick. In Thunder, you have access to 3 guns at all times. A light medium and heavy variant, which are further split into three damage types, kinetic, explosive and plasma. All of them feel great to use, especially with the camera shake feedback you get on hit. But the flashiness of explosive and plasma weapons is definitely higher. Your melee attack will be performed with your right mouse button, so you don't have to actually switch your weapon, which makes it a much more fluent experience. And this whole core combat loop gets supported with a decent armor system. We get 7 armor slots, each of which comes with its own regular stat increase, but also with an imbued passive that greatly alters your gameplay. I'm really glad they chose this route. It would really suck if we only got generic stats. With this system you can really feel and see the difference and have true variety in playstyles. Also every armor piece is rendered on your character. Which is another great sign that the devs put in the extra effort. I really don't like it when you are having only one skin and your equipped items are invisible. The crafting system is still very basic. You can put mods with base stats on your armor and weapons. What I wish to see is a way to remove them afterwards and reapply them on other items. This way we could really fine tune them, because once a mod is on there you can't remove it. In a more recent update they completely reworked the skill tree. It changed from a super boring basic one to this. Which is a huge improvement. You still get a lot of basic stats, but there are also some ability altering skills here. So I really hope they will implement more of that, to give us some actual build variety. Speaking of abilities, at the moment we got two. They are on a cooldown and don't need ammo or resource to use. One is a grenade. And another one is a missile barrage. Each of them comes with their own skill tree. And their own XP bar. So you have to use them to earn their skill points. In here we definitely can see much more potential and promise. Because we get a lot more interesting mechanics. Like getting 3 grenades instead of 1, additional explosions, shrapnels, burning pools and so on. Which means the devs actually don't need to bring in more classes as long as they give us just more abilities, weapons and weapon types. By the way, you can freely remove and reapply skill points to your liking, in both the ability and regular skill tree. It feels like the devs really go into the game with quality of life in mind, and not just putting it off until the end. For example, you can dash on top of platforms, loot and chests get marked on your map, and you can change your items at any time during a mission. Visually the game looks really great. 
from the futuristic interiors to the toxic caves. The art styles and the quality is top notch. What I wish for are more graphic options. For example a way to disable camera shake. I think it could make some people motion sick. And I also have to mention that the game can become extremely flashy. So if you have photosensitivity, you probably shouldn't play this game. The overall sound design is decent. I just wish that the weapons had a bit more oomph. But the music on the other hand is great. It really encapsulates the futuristic feeling of the game. The game is still clearly in early access. But compared to many other titles, you get here a very polished gameplay loop. It just lacks in content at the moment. It took me around 3 hours to finish the first act, but you have the options to go into higher difficulties to get better loot and level up, plus you can replay all missions and don't have to wipe your save or something. What the game needs now is just more content, more acts, more abilities, weapons and armor. And lastly hopefully some form of endgame activity like rifts. I also think putting in pylons like in Diablo or Grim Dawn could do wonders for the map design. It will make exploring much more rewarding. And maybe what they could do is also implement some cosmetics that can be found or unlocked through achievements. I didn't experience any FPS drops, crashes or bugs. The only negative experience I had is the use of the melee weapons. Especially in frantic battle it becomes very hard to see where your character is. I think maybe a lock on mechanic or some form of visual indicator could do wonders for that system. For now it's a fun little ARPG that has a lot of promise and potential. Plus the devs consistently pump out updates. So it doesn't seem to be abandonware like many other early access titles. It's definitely something to put on your wish list. And if you want to support them then give it a go. It's already really fun to play. Before I forget, multiplayer or co-op would be amazing for this title. So let me know what you guys think of the game and if you have any other hidden gems I should check out.